Hi folks and thanks for uh, thanks for joining us in today's session. I wanted to talk a little bit today about how to determine candidate fit for a job requirement. More specifically, how to really get to the truth and to truly determine if the move is right for the candidate. And you know, this has happened to a number of us, pretty much everybody if you've been in the business a long time. You know, it's, it's, we've got a job opportunity or a job requirement. You find a candidate who is a good technical match. Um, you know, you book them in, you interview them. They tell you everything that you want to hear. Everything seems to be going along um, according to plan. And then typically what happens is we either won't hear back from the candidate again. Um, you know, they'll receive an out of the blue surprise counter offer, a last minute, you know, surprise job offer. Um, and basically they lose all interest. And if you've been in recruiting for a little bit, this has absolutely happened to you. It's certainly happened to me before. And what I would like to, to talk to you a little bit about today or to show you is how we can all do a better job of, of really determining whether or not this is going to happen and to, you know, potentially end the process at, at the very beginning rather than, uh, rather than the very end. One of the keys I find for this is is to really be honest with yourself. You know, are you really asking the candidate the right questions? Are you really trying to determine the truth as to why the candidate is looking for a new job? And ultimately, is this new job a better fit overall for the candidate? Because I'm telling you right now, folks, if it's not a better opportunity for the candidate, if it's not in line with their career goals, their career aspirations, their progression, the role's either not going to move forward or, you know, the person's going to quit just a, a month or two into the job. And that's really not why we're in business. So as, as an example, I've just got a, a quick example up here. And if you need more detail on it, just let me know. But, but real quick, um, we had a candidate, a job opportunity for a candidate in, in banking with Jab and C++ experience at around the 70K range. And on a, on a surface level, it looked as though the candidate was a good match. You know, they had banking experience. They said that they were in that salary range, seemed to have everything that our client was, was looking to offer. But as we take a little deeper look, um, you know, at the candidate's resume, we can see a story of progression. And, and you know, that's going to really tell us a lot as, as to what that next opportunity is going to be. And we can see that this person moved from a developer to a team lead to, you know, a manager of, of five people. So, you know, sometimes it's really difficult to, to explain this to a candidate or for a candidate to see it for a multitude of reasons. You know, maybe they're emotional, maybe they don't like their manager, had a fight, you know, they're going through some personal issues, whatever the case may be. But I highly, highly recommend taking through, um, taking all candidates through a comparative analysis of their current job and their prospective job. And here's how you do it. It's a real quick way. And, and it's real simple. You make a chart, you know, literally with a plus side and, and a minus side. And uh, whichever, you know, basically has, has the most in whatever column kind of wins out. And in my experience, this has really prevented um, a lot of wasted time between candidates and clients and staffing agencies, simply because you want to be able to have the candidate come to his or her own conclusion um, that this opportunity is in their best interest because that's ultimately what it's all about. If it's not in the candidate's best interest, they're not going to take the opportunity and it's, it's kind of a lost cause. So again, this is really dependent on what's important to the candidate, but just as some general guidelines, title, salary, vacation, bonus, com commute, company technology and, uh, and career progression. And just as an example, this is, this is, how the chart looks once it's filled out a little bit. And the current opportunity for the candidate, their title was lead developer, the perspective was developer. So it's a step back. Um, the salary was 80K versus, you know, a, a new client salary or new opportunity salary of 70K. So again, a step back. Vacation, they're the same, bonus better at the current company, commute better at the current company. You know, the current company has a better brand name and uses a, a much uh, uh, more progressive technology. And at the current company, the career progression continues. Um, and also as a miscellaneous, the, the current company also pays about twelve to fifteen thousand dollars a year in rent for this in individual. Needless to say, this if if we did um, did things the right way and showed the candidate really that they weren't a fit for this particular job, then we would have saved our cl end client a lot of time, the candidate a lot of time, the recruiter would have saved a lot of time, the account manager, and everybody else that was involved in, in the process. 
these little tools, you know, they're not going to guarantee that, that you know, they're, they're going to become a truth detector and everybody's got a story and that's great. But I encourage you to give it a try because it can really, really minimize the amount of, of fall offs or, or turn downs that we have by really trying to oversell a job or, or trying to put somebody into an opportunity that's really not a, a great fit for them in their career long term. So, you know, after seeing that, always ask yourself, does this make sense? Does it make sense? that you know this candidate would go for this opportunity and is the candidate's long-term goals in line with the long-term goals of that organization and that position. For any other questions or concerns or, or for more help on in this area, please just reach out to us at the hub at ianmartin.com. Thank you.